Hey everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q team in Rochester, New York. A lot of talk about the real estate market right now is the interest rates and how we have seen historic lows for as far back as we can remember. Interest rates started creeping up into the fours and fives um, and we managed that and we thrived. And now we're starting to be into the sixes and sevens and there's some talk about them going even higher possibly. So we wanna just do a quick overview on what that means for you as a buyer um, if these interest rates do go up um, as opposed to staying where they are. Yes, so um, basically we wanna kinda of give you a quick synopsis of what those numbers may look like at some of those different interest rate points and then what that means for you. And, and a, sorry, a little to this Please. is um, not everybody knows how that's going to affect their mortgage payment. They yes. know that it's going to increase the mortgage payment, obviously, um, but there are a lot of people out there that don't know to what extent it can affect your mortgage payment. So we, we just wanna throw some sample numbers out there um, so you have an idea of what you what might be looking at at different interest rates. Yes. So we ran some numbers for mm -hmm. a $250,000 price um, with you know roughly average taxes in the area, 10% um, down, 10 down payment. Um, so monthly payments at 5%, 6.5%, and 8%. So we have our 5% rate, the payment would be $2,081 per month. If you were to increase that to a six and a half percent rate, that payment jumps up to two thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars per month. If that were to increase to an eight percent interest rate, that increases your payment to two thousand five hundred and twenty. No, two thousand. Yes, five hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars per month. So obviously, that is a relatively large swing. We're looking at you know between four and five hundred dollars a month when you go from five to eight percent interest. So what does that mean if you are a buyer? So, the, we have talked about this so many times. <coughs> Excuse me, we can't change the interest rate. Certainly we can opt to buy down the interest rate to try to get a lower payment. Um, but the interest rates are what they are. And so we can't fight those. We can't um, dig our heels in and say, I'm not doing it. If you wanna buy a house, you have to do it. Um, so what that means in terms uh, of financing options for buyers is that the, where the rates are today, just know that a one to two percent interest rate increase could affect your mortgage payment hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so I know they feel high right now, but they could go higher. So what we're telling people is we know where they are now. All we can really plan on is what we know, right? So mm -hmm. if we decide home ownership is in our goals, it's what we want to accomplish. Um, or making a move if we're already homeowners and we wanna to move to something bigger or smaller, whatever the case may be, uh, we know what the interest rates are now. So we can know what your monthly payment will be right. should you, you lock in. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then if interest rates do go up, if you make the purchase and interest rates do go up, how awesome that you've locked in to this lower rate. Um, if interest rates go down, how awesome that you have the option to refinance mm -hmm. for that lower interest rate. Um, waiting, could mean that instead of getting the rate that we have now, you know, right. it, it goes up one or two percent. Um, we're looking at an extra few hundred dollars a month right. that we have to plan to right. pay monthly or, un until maybe rates go back. Down. Right. I'll say, or if we don't want to spend what that increased payment is, that may just allow, you know, may just lead us to have to look at a slightly lower price range, mm -hmm. which is also fine. We're gonna be able to kind of tackle that, but it may mm -hmm. have to kind of lower expectations of what we were hoping to get housewise if we've been looking at this price and then we gotta adjust down to here. So, I mean, the experts are projecting that the rates will continue to rise as we get closer to the end of the year and into the new year. Um, so we want to make sure that if you are in the market right now, Try to take advantage right now before things go up. Mm -hmm. um, but just know that we will work with what we what we know right now. We will try to make the best of it. We will make sure that we find something that is going to fit within your housing budget, you know, game plan. Um, and we're gonna make it happen for you. 